Are you in real estate? Are you handling your rental applications on your own? Why? Why would you do that? It's 2025. You got AI now. And specifically, you got JotForm AI agents. JotForm AI agents are the next generation of amazing AI agents that can take everything that you could ever imagine in the world of AI and turn it up a notch using our AI agents. So with that being said, let's check out our JotForm AI agents page. Here's the homepage. It showcases how you can utilize JotForm AI agents in a myriad of ways with things like phone agents, chatbots, WhatsApp, and much more. So let's go to the agent templates over here and check it out. If you go to the real estate section down here, right? You'll see there is a bunch of different options. One of them being the Residential Rental Application AI Agent. Now, as you know, JotForm is a form company. So what's really great about this is it gives you an option to interact with the form through a process of chatting with it. Now, this is Renata. You can change what she looks like to be maybe a different person as well. You can change it to a different person, whether it be real or not real. <laughs> They're all AI generated, obviously, but I mean, <laughs> There's not an AI agent that would look like a person that's a little tiger or fox over here. But I like the way that Renata is set up, but you can change it to be somebody else like Kendall or Morgan. There's a lot of different options here. So let's go with Kendall. Okay, so Kendall's gonna be set up and you can always change the theme if you want it different. I actually really like this red theme. Let's go with that one. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Cool, all right. Now let's go to train. So this is essentially where your knowledge lives for your AI agent. It's the source of everything to it. It'll have things like what necessarily this AI agent is about. It has a list of question and answer defaults where if essentially somebody sends a question out there, you can see if someone asks the question, can I include additional occupants on my rental application? The answer will be this exact answer. So you can add things like links to your website or files or specific text knowledge or even more questions and answers. And based on how you want it to be, you can have the response be guided by the guidelines here. And I personally like a lot of these templates and think they're set up great already. But what's really cool is you can actually change the voice to be specific as well if you want to do voice AI agents too, which I think is quite incredible that we were in the world where JotForm and all these AI tools have voices now. Now, when you take a look here as well, we have if then logic. So for actions, when a user wants to do X, something else will happen, like an email will be sent, an API request will be sent. This is really helpful if you wanna connect the form situation that you have to other tools. And then speaking of tools, there's a bunch of different specific tools in here that you can connect with uh, AI API wise. Now, as you'll see, there's a form that by default is created, which is a residential application form, okay? So what we can do here is we can make some changes. I think there's only gonna be a need for one row here for vehicles, I guess, or, I mean, I guess in theory, they could have a bunch of vehicles. I don't, I doubt anyone would have more than four, but we can leave it like that just in case. It has a lot of different things here. Obviously, if you're on this channel, you know that we have videos on how this all works for form building. However, somebody filling out this form, it's annoying to do it in the normal way. So the nice thing about this is if you go to the AI agent itself, you can train your AI agent. And then from there, they can fill out the residential form super easy. So this is Kendall, right? I wanna apply for residential rental, okay? And I'm more than happy to fill out the form in the chat. I think it's a much better experience and it prevents you from essentially having to deal with the process of these people talking with you via email or talking with you via chat. So, all right, I'm gonna give it a fake phone number. I can give it a real email address, but as you can see, as I'm doing this, the form percentage keeps going up. Date of birth, keep going up, keep going up, keep going up, keep going up. I do have a, I do have a Nissan Ultima. 36 more questions to go, dang, at least it's a fun experience. Thanks for sharing your vehicle, do you? Not, yeah, so I have a vehicle. I got Nissan Ultima 2025, color red. I ain't giving my license plate on this video, but you know what it is. What's my content creator? Locking it down. Name of my company, Productive LLC. Which department do you work in? I'm the founder, baby. 
I'll work in all the departments. Is your monthly gross income? A lot. <laughs> no, but seriously, you'd put information like this in here. What's my annual gross income? Great. <laughs> I would expect people would actually put, okay, I'll put fake numbers for everybody. I, I put, uh, I put uh, 500. <laughs> thousand uh, dollars fake numbers um, so we could skip this but yeah there's obviously gonna be requirements of employment how many persons will occupy the property one but as you can see it's a different experience than filling out a form it's obviously just me but if you ever get sick of interacting with the eye agent which I don't know why you would the person then has the option to open the form and just like power through it themselves right do you have pets? No. Current address. You can put all those different things in there. Reasons of leaving, previous landlord, all these great questions that are in here. And then when you're done, you know, obviously you need to sign. So I could be like, uh, sign. And then from there, after this is completed, it says, thank you for filling out the form. Is there anything else you need? No, thanks. Right. And obviously that's a very basic workflow. But if you're looking for more advanced things and you have things that connect to the form, like you want to send it to a specific database that's outside of job form. The nice thing is, like I showed you with the builder, actions and tools can really help with that. But now, as we'll see, if we go to my workspace, the recent rental application form was submitted. And from here, what we have is a submission that a landlord or property manager can look at. And obviously I would put much more required fields there as I skipped a bunch on purpose because I'm not going to go through a 36 question example because it defeats the purpose of just showing you how it works. But in all practicality, we have so many templates that there are too many to handle, right? We have loan applicants, house seller agents, rental payment agents, property maintenance, so many of these. So if you're in real estate, I would definitely recommend trying us out. We got it all. With that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. We appreciate you and we'll see you in the next one.